It's race week! Let's go! Uh, we leave tomorrow night. Races this weekend. Priorities for this week. Chillin'. Big chillin'. Per like, post... Post it, posting up, posting up. That's a big one. Hanging, kind of, you know, chilling. Where he said that, relaxing. I might even chillax. We'll see. Anyways, something that I've wanted to do is talk to my sister because she she did an Ironman last year. She's also a registered dietitian, so she knows everything there is to know about nutrition and race day nutrition and everything. So I'm gonna jump on Zoom with her right now and ask her some questions. I thought it'd be interesting for you guys to see that as well, just in case you're gonna, you're, you are gonna you got a race in the future and you're wondering what to do about race day nutrition because it's extremely important, especially for you know long distance triathlons. If you don't eat at the beginning, then you're fucked, you know? Fricked, sorry. Okay, guys, as I was saying, this is my sister, Krista, uh, and you are an Iron Man, Iron Woman. Mm. You finished your first one last year. You're basically the reason why I, decided to do one because you were like if if krista can do this anyone can do this anyone in the world. <laughs> right exactly it must be easy yeah. um i wanted to ask you some questions about just race day nutrition like what should i be thinking about what should i be taking in terms of like salt tablets and like how many calories an hour should i aim for it's interesting i think fueling and particularly under fueling is like one of the biggest mistakes that people make during a race like iron man it's such a long day that when you under fuel i feel like it can come back to haunt you in so many different ways um like you hear about some of the common reasons why people drop out of a race and it's like oh severe cramping or like really bad gi issues so like digestive issues and a lot of that is it really comes back to nutrition so the nutrition piece i feel like is a really important thing to just kind of keep thinking about throughout the course of the day so i really stuck to like a 200 calorie per hour okay. that was my guide and when we're talking about calories and when we're talking about types of food we really just want to be focusing on like carbohydrate foods. So like sugary foods that, because we can think about sugar or carbohydrates like gas in a car. That's what's kind of keeping our engine running. So you don't really have to think about things like protein or fat or fiber during race day. You're really just focused on like sugary carbohydrate foods. So what 200 calories would look like would be like two gels in an hour. So you probably were under fueling a little bit during training even, but I mean, hey, if you felt pretty good at like, if you're thinking about your century ride, were you doing like a gel it, every 45 minutes? It kind of depends because I would eat uh, like a relatively bigger size meal before so for the yeah. first hour i was always kind of fine and then yeah. and then i'd probably do one every like 45 minutes and then by the end i'm like always so miserable that i need something yeah. to like happy. okay so I just eat more. yeah because yeah. i'm like so like, <laughs> i use it i use food as like a motivation it's like okay yeah. next you like make it another 20 minutes you eat another bar or another gel you probably want to space out your fueling a little bit more and be a bit more intentional about it um so like every hour what that would look like would be like two gels for instance yeah. or um you know two scoops of gatorade even two that's scoops. about 200 so like if you're, I don't know, if you have the Gatorade powder, oh, you know, yeah. like if you, that's what I used to use. Or like a banana plus a gel. I Wait, can send you, you this. Gatorade list. instead of food? Oh, I mean, it doesn't really yeah. matter what the, it's just a carbohydrate source. Okay. So it's just a sugar source. But okay. do try and pay attention to the sort of the 200 calories per hour. And that's even kind of a minimum, honestly, in terms of what they recommend. Like a lot of people will eat a lot more than that and they'll do like 300 or 350 an hour, but 200 is kind of the minimum. Like and gels. what about supplements like salt tablets and like liquid IV? Yeah. yeah, so that's also a really important piece too, is like there's the, the food piece, but then there's also the the hydration piece, getting dehydrated, especially on such a long day when you're exerting yourself. And particularly if it is a really hot day is super easy to do. And so we really wanna make sure we're staying on top of that. So the hydration kind of comes in with the two components. It's like the water, but then also the electrolytes too, right? So when you're talking about sodium, we're talking about electrolytes. And so the, the easy way that I would remember it was um, I had a 750 mill water bottle and so i would just aim to have one of those every hour that was like always my goal and i always had something in it like a noon tablet 
or a liquid IV. Okay. Um, I would just like put some table salt in mine um, just to make sure that you're getting the electrolytes and the salt. So, you know, just having something in that water bottle and having that one of those water bottles every hour. That was like always my okay. goal. Yeah. Okay. One thing I was going to say, this is just like really good advice that I was given. Every 15 minutes, you want to take a few swigs of something and have a have a bite of something every 15 minutes. Okay. So it's all it's constant. <laughs> but yeah. that's going to help to ensure that you have those that consistent sort of supply or source of sugars going into your your muscles and it's going to help to keep that engine running throughout the course of the day. So whenever you think about whether you should eat or drink something, just do it in yeah. that moment. Yeah. Don't like wait until cuz a lot of times we'll be like, "Oh, I'll just wait until yeah, yeah. you know the next whatever kilometers and then I'll have something." It's like, "No, just do it in that moment." Okay. Cuz it's so easy to get behind on your fueling if you don't do that. I should probably shouldn't try like experimenting with foods, right? Like if they yeah. have <laughs> Focus Don't do that. that I have been eating here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You want to try and stick to the things that you've done in training, you know, and you know it digests well for you. Yeah. Stick to those things. So, like, bring stuff with you if you can. Okay. Like, bring your gels with you. Because, yeah, I think that's, like, the biggest recipe for just, like, yeah, GI issues is just trying a bunch of new stuff. And by the way, guys, if you are a dietitian or a registered health practitioner, right? Just a healthcare practitioner. Healthcare. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so runs a business. What's it called? Dietitian Success Center. So check it out and uh, it'll really help you. Thanks. Thanks, Chris. All right. Thanks, Chris. Okay. It's Monday night. I spent some time today piking up. Piking? What am I saying, dude? Spent some time today packing up the bike. It's all in there. Wheels are here. Had to take the aero bars off to fit it in this thing. I got all my gear right here, my shoes, grundle butter, uh, body glide, got the Shimano charger, charger for the Garmin. I'm gonna test that out right now. I got my shoes in here, helmet. So I'm just gonna stick all that shit in here. Okay, flight's in a few hours. I'm packing up right now. So my buddy, Matty, same guy that I did the June Shine like board shaping collab video with. He was in, he was in town and he brought me two new boards. This one's a fish. Five six, I think. Oh my god. Beautiful. Five six, twin fin, fish. It's crazy. Looks so fun. And then look at this beauty. Oh my god. Look at this thing. Sheesh. Look at these. Oh, I can't wait to surf these when I get back. This is also Matt's doing, so shout out to Matt as well. Matt and Maddie. You guys, can't thank you enough. All right, I think I'm basically all packed. Packed my bike yesterday, swim cap, wetsuit, bike jerseys, bike shorts, all my food, like I brought a shit ton of gels, just liquid IV. I just brought way too much stuff just so I have some stuff to choose from on race day. But, you know, nothing that I didn't train with. I think that's, that's important. I've heard that like a thousand times, like on race day, don't experiment with new shit, you know? Except for maybe like on the run, you know, just see how you feel. And then you eat whatever's at the aid stations or whatever. That's at least what my dad was saying. Um, I'll ask my parents more advice when I see them, but we're getting on the flight in a couple hours. So strap in, it's time to go down under, mate. Down under, cunts. You can, sorry, you can bleep that. I feel like that's not appropriate on this channel. Yeah, good cunt. Down under. Are you, are, are you, are you man, Yeah. Are you, or, Oi, Iron Man. No, that's Irish. Iron Man. Oh, for fuck's sake, you're gonna go do the Iron Man now. Evan, I think you can. All right, we've arrived. There are my parents. Else is over there. This is Port Macquarie. A beautiful day. Wow. Stunning. This place is awesome. So you just gotta build the bike. These are, I gotta put back on my arrow bars. What do you think? I'm excited. Your steed is set up? <laughs> steed is all ready to go. So I think this is where we're gonna be swimming. Only Iron Man's when we have to get out and climb over something and then keep going. It's beautiful though, isn't it? I thought this was just like gonna be a small like pork city, but it's like beautiful. There's like a ton of vacation homes. Look at that. It's crazy. We're up for a little run, a little uh, shakeout. 
what you call this? A warm up shake out? Cool, cool up? Cool up run. Shake in run? Shake in. A cool in. A cool bit. Shake out the legs, 40 minutes, oops. Because otherwise I think I'd be asleep right now. It's like 10 o'clock at home right now or something. I didn't think jet lag was gonna be that big of a deal because I thought it was like more separated, but no, it's like, it's gonna be bad. It's gonna be an issue, I feel like. But what time does the race start? I think six. So it'll be fine, actually. Just the end you know, might be really hard. <laughs> honestly, whether you're sleepy tired or not, makes no difference. Yeah, true. Ever, never has. Yeah, yeah, true. A lot of races, you know, nerves keep you up at night. Never makes any difference. There isn't even any signs that says that a good night's sleep is required. Hmm. However, if you're doing a 24 hour, 48 hour, 36 hour event, it's different. You know, that you need to sleep, but. For, yeah, but for uh, something like this, no, that's no. just minor. <laughs> for Iron Man, for something just for, small? Just for Iron Man, for, for something, something small, small like Iron Man. Like Iron Man? <laughs> nah, I don't need it. So should we, don't worry about that. So should we go out the night before? A little bender? Well, just um, got dinner here. Yeah, scarfing this up right now. <laughs> Can you pass me Just a little piece? appetizer. <laughs> yeah, you want a piece? Sure, Chris, reach in there and grab it. <laughs> Why? Let's see. Oh, Viva boy! Where's a good pelican? What? <laughs> 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 that was sick. Look at him. How fun is that? <laughs> Look at this fucking big. thing. He's like a dinosaur. <laughs> He's so cute. His face, his eyeballs. Blessed morning to you. It's Friday. Happy Friday. It's 4.30 a.m. Which is actually good. I'm, I'm happy that this is when I woke up. I thought I was going to be up at 2 for sure. Um, but went to bed at 7.30. 2.30 I think my time. California time. Slept great. Woke up at four. It's just fine, honestly. Could do that on race day. Just drinking a coffee, relaxing. I think we're gonna go check out the expo today. Yeah, just big chill, relax, take it easy, take a load off, and chill. Those are my five priorities for today. All right, this is where we're gonna cruise down hopefully god willing but this is where the finish is right here so we're gonna right there look at this beautiful Woo. Woo. all right guys so this is the day before the race i'm working on i don't know i don't know what any of these are supposed to be okay so bike gear bag so i'll put my bikes up in there run in there nutrition street gear this put is for junk, cool put your junk in here junk nice the junk bag <laughs> This is for cool streetwear. It's called street gear bag. This is for cool like uh, yeah, off-white like, stuff. Bape. Yeah, if you have any bape hoodies, you put them in here. <laughs> these are bike personal means. So these will be like halfway through on the bike. You can access this and then halfway through on the run, you can access this so you can put like more nutrition if you need it, which I'm going to do. Uh, so I'm gonna start working on these. Okay, bike gear. Uh, no, this goes in the street gear bag. <laughs> I think I'm gonna rock Lululemon socks. I think the other ones I usually use on my training rides are like a little bit too tight. My feet end up going numb. I don't know if it's from the socks or what. I don't know. There's my jurors. Black shorts. Come on, where are you? Here we go. Make sure this still fits. Hey guys. Yup. This is, this is my first bike jersey I ever got. It's gonna be the one that I do it in. So Yep, that's the one. Okay, after like an hour or two, two hours I'd say, I got everything pretty much set up. That's my nutrition for the first half of the bike. This is all my bike shit. Run stuff, that's my number in case you wanna track me. Uh, this is my run stuff, what? Is this gonna be out tomorrow? Yeah, it's going out tomorrow. Oh my God, happy Saturday. Nutrition for second half of the bike. Got some gels, hammer gels, goos, honey stingers. Stingers. Honey, I like to call them stingers. It's a fun little thing that I like to do. Uh, some of this shit. And then a run special bag, special needs bag, which I don't think I'm gonna need, but. Tylenol, 
into pretty much everything. This is my streetwear bag. Yeah, so this is just mostly Christian Dior and then <laughs> <laughs> wetsuit. Like there's like tattoos and shit I have to put on and then like that stuff. So there's still a little bit to do, but everything's pretty much sorted. Checking in the bike. Look at the sea of bikes over there. Sheesh. Flat. Damn. Bike's a lot cooler than mine. Just kidding, Canyon. This one's the best. <laughs> I think yours is way cooler. I bought for only way back. That car like it. Thank you. All right. See you tomorrow. Have a good sleep. <laughs> Salty. <laughs> All right, and this is where I bid you adieu. We're going to eat dinner tonight, wake up tomorrow, and do the race. So I'm going to film the whole process, which apparently you're not allowed to do. But the guy who was running PR for the race said that I'm allowed to. So. Craig, shout out to the media, the media director. He's awesome. Shout out to him. I was like, can I film myself? He's like, uh, really? <laughs> you're gonna bring your phone? I was like, yeah. I mean, I, I thought that was, he's like, well, technically, you're not allowed to do that. So it's like, well, it, it's not gonna be worth it if it disqualifies me. For but sure. he was like, no, I'll talk to the guy and we'll get you know some special privilege for you. Wow. Yeah. So basically, like a celebrity here, in Port Macquarie. <laughs> Tons of people were down there, like saying hi and you know screaming fans and stuff like that. Tons of people. Not really. We did have a couple people say hi. Kira, shout out Kira. And um, I met a dude yesterday at the merch tent when I was just spending way too much money. I spent four hundred bucks. Yeah. On merch. Did a bit hard. We were like definitely like first timers, you know. <laughs> no, but my parents did the same thing. Yeah, this is their true. tenth. I met a dude that was like I watched. He was like, he was American too. And he was like, well, I'm not American, but he was from America. He didn't have an Australian accent is what I'm trying to say. He wasn't like, hello. He was like, what's up? And I was like, go. Oh. He's like, I just, this is so cool. Um, I started training because of your ultra marathon video. And I was like, that's incredible. And he basically decided to do this one for the same reason. He was like, I just started training. And then I was like, I might as well go somewhere. So shout out to him. That was really inspiring to hear. So anyways, dinner, and then you'll see the whole thing tomorrow. But so, so this is where I'm going to say goodbye. You know, if you're watching this, I don't know when this is going to go live within the next 10 hours or something. So cross your fingers for me. Good vibes. Good, yeah, put out good vibes. If you're sitting around, you know, it's a Saturday. So if you're sitting around the dinner table, just just make sure you and your friends put out some good vibes. Take a second. Just put out some vibes into the world. Like I'm not, even just, not even just for me, just for just it's good to do in general. I can't say keep me in your thoughts. It sounds like something bad is happening. Oh, but just like. Put out good yeah, seems like it's gonna be a hot one tomorrow. So this is gonna be tough, probably. I hate the heat and I hate sun when I'm training. So both two things I hate are gonna, there's gonna be a lot of it tomorrow. So that's gonna be fun. Anyways, I've been recording this outro for three minutes now. That's longer than some entire YouTube videos. So wish me luck. See you guys, hopefully at the finish line. Choo-choo, baby. Choo-choo, eight months of training. Let's get it done.